one in every five American adults suffers from GERD, which stands for gastroesophageal reflux disease. But it's a condition that can be treated. Joining us today is Dr. Kenneth Schwartz, a general surgeon with Hartford Healthcare, to tell us more. Doctor, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Great to have you. So first, tell us exactly what is GERD? GERD is an acronym for gastroesophageal reflux disease. There's a lot of other names for it, acid reflux, something that most people hear about. The actual mechanism of it, and I have a little picture here to help. This is the esophagus and stomach here. If the bottom of the, can you see that? If the valve at the bottom yes, of the esophagus. Yes, good, good visual. Just hold it back sure. a little bit. Uh, how about that? Okay. All right. When that valve becomes weak or damaged by years of, of disease, then whatever is in the stomach is going to make its way up. And what things are not supposed to go up. They're supposed to go out your stomach into your small intestine. When you are refluxing the stomach contents back into your esophagus, it can go up into your throat. It give you all the classic symptoms. You have heartburn, you have regurgitation, and some people can come in with coughs or throat, lump in the throat. These are kind of a constellation of symptoms that come with GERD. All right, doctor, what food should be avoided if someone has GERD? That's a very difficult thing to do because there's a lot of foods that people very much like that are triggers for reflux. Um, the main ones are alcohol, caffeine, and tomatoes. And when you go down and look at the list of foods that people eat, that kind of encompasses most of the diet. Um, the list is long, so really, um, diet avoid, you know, trigger food avoidance, even though it can be effective, is very, very difficult to do. All right, how is GERD treated? Well, you know, one of the things that we here try to do at the, in this clinic and at this program is to actually give people a diagnosis which they don't already have. Um, so most people are treated medically with a type of medication called a PPI or a proton pump inhibitor, and that is very effective. But there's a, a huge number, an enormous percentage of people that are not fully treated and still have symptoms. And when we get to that stage, then we have to start going a little deeper and figuring out, do they actually have GERD in the first place? Because many people don't have the proper diagnostics in the bag already. And if not, you know, then we get that done. And if surgery is on the table, then surgery is on the table. And doctor, quick last question. When should sure. someone seek out medical or surgical expertise? They should seek out expertise if they don't feel that their disease condition is being handled properly. And that's what the Hartford Healthcare Swallowing and Reflux Program is built to do, is to take those cases, make the diagnosis, and give them treatments that they don't already have. And we're showing the number there, 1-833-2-DIGEST. There it is again, the um, number to call. Dr. Kenneth Schwartz, General Surgeon with Hartford Healthcare, thank you for the great information about GERD. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.